Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we will be taking a close look at this USB microphone made by Insignia. Now, if you're not familiar with the Insignia brand, Insignia is a brand that is proprietary to the Best Buy organization. It's a brand that's been a while for quite a long time now, and they make fairly good products at a reasonable price point. But before we jump further into this video, I need you guys to do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below. That really helps to grow my YouTube page and it also helps this video to be found much more easier in YouTube search bar. Also too in the description you will find a timeline where you can jump to any portion of this video. So please go ahead and check that out as well and I also have a link to where this item can be found on Best Buy's webpage, also down below in the description. Now, this particular item says here that it is a color changing USB microphone and that it is ideal for vlogging, streaming, or podcasting. This item also minimizes the background noise and it tilts to the ideal angle. It is perfect for people who are using either a Windows or a Mac OS operating system. And as you can see here, it offers a variety of different colors that the special ring can change to. It's also a plug and play USB. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, the model number here is NSLCBM22. So if we take a closer look here at the box, it says here on the side that it is ideal for almost any recording situation. Recording uses, like I mentioned earlier, podcasting, live streaming, it can be used for gaming voiceovers, it can be used for single instruments and voice, and it's also ideal to be used for conference calls, and it says orchestras, which I find kind of interesting. I would assume you'd probably need a much more higher end microphone for a large orchestra, but they have that here. Also too, this particular microphone features two different recording patterns. It has the cardioid recording pattern as well as the omnidirectional pattern. And I'll go into more detail about exactly what those mean. On the back side here, we also have a list of different features. So I actually found this microphone on accident, to be honest with you. I was already in the market for a USB microphone for my podcast slash vlogging YouTube page. And I was honestly looking for other microphones that I commonly see um, being reviewed on YouTube. Most of the time, these brands include the Blue Snowball. They also include models such as the Blue Yeti and, of course, the AKG Lyra. But I did not see anything about this. And when I went to Best Buy, I was actually almost ready to buy the Blue Snowball USB microphone. However, they were out of stock on that. And it was actually a good thing because when I took, when I actually walked around and took a look around at the store a little bit, I found that this microphone was hiding all the way back on a bottom shelf. And I got very curious when I saw this because this looks almost exactly like the Blue Yeti microphone. Now the Blue Yeti USB microphone currently retails for a little over $112 at Best Buy. However, when I saw this item, it had a clearance tag and it said $24.99, original price $69.99. That's right. For $25, I was able to get this microphone that looks almost identical to the Blue Yeti at a fraction of the price. So without further ado, let's go and open up this bad boy and see exactly what we have inside of here. So let's go ahead and take out my trusty cutter here and we'll go ahead and just cut open the sides here. All right. And let's go and open this up to see exactly what we have here. So. All right, so the first thing I see is a foam protection piece we'll put to the side. And then we have this plastic piece, and I guess this is the cable that it comes with 
And as I'm looking here, this is a USB type A to a USB type B. Uh, interesting. I would assume they would have put a USB type C on it already, but uh, it is what it is. Um, okay, and looks like this may be the actual microphone. So let me go ahead and try to remove this here. Wow, this is really packed in here uh, very tightly. Okay, all right, so we have that. Do we have anything else inside the box here? Uh, yes, we have a couple of different paperworks here. Looks like this is a quick setup guide um, in English, and we have an Espanol. Okay, so very good that they included that there. Now, here is the actual unit itself. We have a protective foam covering on top, and this foam piece, which helps to keep it centered within the box. We'll go ahead and remove that, and uh, wow, this thing has got some good weight to it. Um, wow, they really packed this very well. Okay, let me go ahead and walk up to you guys and show you this up close. Okay, so here's the microphone up close. As you can see here, guys, uh, first of all, it is a very decent size. I mean, uh, when I went to the store and I saw the display model of the Blue Yeti, uh, this would probably be more resemble it to the Blue Yeti mini version. Uh, not the Yeti. The Yeti itself is a little bigger than this, I would say. But uh, nevertheless, um, it feels pretty solid. Uh, the base here, uh, it has a metallic feel. Um, it could be either cast or maybe some type of a very thin steel. It is powder coated. Um, this bracket also feels very solid too. I think this is steel powder coated as well. Um, it's got the swivel here for you to allow um, the adjustments of the angle and it's got a couple of tensions on the side where you can lock it in place um, And let's see here. All right, so let's go over some of the features here. Um, I am going to drop an image of the um, Different features that's listed on the instruction booklet right now And going over this microphone, let's see what we have here. So this very first button here, as you can see, uh, this one here is going to basically control uh, the mute button. So this is uh, to mute um, temporarily and to unmute it. Uh, the second button right here is going to pretty much cycle through the different colors that this ring can change into. Um, so that's pretty neat and I'm interested to see that. Uh, this one here is the gain. So this is the microphone gain, um, the output gain going into the computer. This one here is really nice. This is the gain for the um, headphone monitor. So this allows you to directly connect headphones to it so you can monitor yourself in real time, which is very handy. Uh, like I said, if you're doing um, you know, online uh, podcasting or even if you're using this, uh, let's say if you're a musician and you are a singer, um, you can hear yourself in real time. On the back side here, we see some more features. This button here would allow you to cycle through either the cardioid pattern or the omnidirectional pattern. And I'll go ahead and drop another image here that shows uh, basically a description of what is a cardioid pattern. Basically, uh, you know, the pattern is pretty much meaning that it is focusing all of its sensitivity to the front side of the microphone so that it'll pick up all of the sound that's coming from directly in front of the microphone and nothing else on the sides versus the omnidirectional pattern which allows you to pick up noises from pretty much all around the microphone. And also too, as you can see here, there is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for your headphone monitor and of course the USB type B port for you to plug into your computer. And it looks like down below here is uh, a quarter inch or an eighth inch um, um, thread uh, where you can actually thread in um, a different type of uh, mounting system uh, or headphone stand. And like I said, this has a really decent weight to it. So that's very nice to see. On the bottom side, we see some more details here and maybe we can pause that for you guys to read. Um, but in any case, Let's go ahead and jump right into hooking this up to the computer 
to see how that process is. So let's go ahead and pause it here. Okay, so uh, up until this point, I've been using my phone's microphone, the internal built microphone, to record the audio. So um, another thing I wanted to point out with this video is the difference in sound quality between just using your internal microphone versus using an external USB microphone um, to record uh, your voice. So uh, let's go ahead and start by connecting the USB cable into your computer. And uh, I will not be using an external uh, audio interface for this microphone, like a FOSRite or something like that. I'm just going to directly hook this up inside my computer and uh, we can configure it from there. Then we'll go ahead and just plug in the USB Type B in the back of the microphone. And look at that. Wow, that just comes right on there. All right, so uh, wow, really nice. Um, this is a really nice addition, I must say. Uh, this ring has like a diamond type of pattern, as you can see here. And uh, let's try playing with these colors first and see. Oh, wow, we got red. That looks nice. Purple. We have uh, yellow. Let's see, this is some type of a blue or teal, I would say. Green. Oh, what, what is that? Let me go back to that one. I think that was the rainbow color one, too. Um, let's see here. We have blue, white, green, purple, yellow, teal, and uh, let's see here. This is some type of a color changing. Yeah, this is the color changing mode. So very interesting here, guys. All right, so uh, as you can see here, that's what it is. Um, I probably will just leave this on uh, blue for now. Um, all right, so it already set it up. That you know everything here is pretty much synced up already. Uh, like I said, it was plug and play. That's pretty much how easy it is here. Um, so we'll go ahead and see uh, whether or not the microphone. Uh, let's see here. We can just go to sound, and we can see that uh, looks like it is selecting something here already. Choose your input device. So if you can, let me see if I can help you zoom in here. Okay, so everything has automatically configured on my computer. I am running the Windows 11 on this computer, but as the box has mentioned, it is compatible also with Mac OS. Um, so here we see the uh, NSLCB M22, which is the model of this insignia. And as I'm talking right now, uh, it looks like that I am already getting a level here. And uh, so to, let's see here, to test this, I'm going to use an audio recording uh, program that I use. Um, and this is the Adobe Edition, so we can go ahead and open that up. And let's see um, what kind of sound uh, we get from this microphone here. So I want to go ahead and create a new file, and we'll just call this the Insignia uh, test file. And I'm going to record at a 48,000 uh, hertz rate, uh, stereo of course, at a 32-bit. So that's the highest format I can do here. And uh, let me see here if I can get any kind of a monitor here. Uh, let's try to configure this here. Give me just a moment while I configure my system, and we'll come right back to you. Okay, so we have everything set up here, you guys. Now I'm going to switch the audio to the microphone in three two, one. All right, now we are recording using the Insignia USB microphone. Right now, you guys, I have this thing actually set up uh, to use the cardioid pattern, and that's identified by having this switch pushed in. Um, and let's see, right now, uh, I have the gain set at about half the way. So, it's not all the way, but it's not all the way down. It's half the way on the gain. Um, I'm not using an external uh, headphone monitor, so we'll keep that all the way down. Now, uh, right now, I'm sitting about a foot and a half away from the microphone. If I bring myself closer here, and let's see how the voice quality will change. So here I'm talking, and I'm probably about half a foot away from this microphone. And if I put it all the way here, you can see how it sounds like when I'm pretty much near the microphone. Now, let's go ahead and start playing with the gain. So if I turn this down a little bit at a time, 
uh, you can see how the um, volume would decrease and I'm continuously turning this gain down right about now I'm almost about uh, only a quarter of the way from all the way down and now I'm going to turn it now I'm going to turn it back up because I noticed that it's not picking anything back up so we'll go ahead and bring it back to about a half gain and then I'm going to increase it now to about three quarters of the way to the maximum point and right now I'm about a foot and a half away from the microphone just for reference and now I went ahead and maxed out the gain on the microphone so I want to go ahead and bring it back down to just under the halfway point I think that's the sweet spot for this microphone to avoid clipping your sound um, because when you clip your sound you're actually just getting rid of that extra information and the sound quality will go down and you'll also hear a bunch of distortions so you always want to keep your levels away from the red uh, and that's why you adjust the gain here now what will happen if I tilt the microphone towards me let's see how this sounds like so now I have the microphone tilt towards me and this is the sound you're hearing from this and I want to see if I put it back up um, this way and we'll tilt it away from me this way. Is it picking up any sound now? Uh, let's see how that sounds like. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn the microphone uh, in a 360 degree pattern and you guys can continue to hear my voice and you can hear how this microphone is picking up my voice. Um, also too, I want you to pay attention to as I'm handling this microphone how much uh, noise is it picking up from me touching the microphone? Uh, that's another thing I need you guys to go ahead and pay attention to as well. So uh, is this microphone able to isolate a lot of the uh, vibration noise uh, that's happening from on the sides and on the surfaces of the microphone? Now I'm going to go ahead and lightly just you know touch my computer and simulate you know if I am typing how it sounds like here. So uh, are you hearing any noises as I'm tapping the computer? Um, maybe you're rubbing the desk on accident and uh, see how it picks up noises here. All right, so this is with the cardioid pattern. Now let's go ahead and switch the microphone to the omnidirectional pattern. And again, we do that by pushing the switch on the back so that it extends outwards. Now I am recording in the omnidirectional pattern. The very first thing I want to do is I want to put this a little bit away from me and I want to see whether or not if this is able to capture the sound uh, and as I'm rotating it in a 360 degree pattern how this sounds like here. So I'm just wanting to test that out to see if you're able to hear that here. Now we are going to go ahead and turn up the gain a little bit and we can see how it sounds like. I have the gain set at about 75% uh, to maximum. Uh, and again, we're going to go ahead and turn the microphone around and you guys can go ahead and hear the sound quality as I do that. Now, typically with the omnidirectional, they are going to use the microphone at an angle. So they'll typically tilt the microphone towards them this way. And this is how it sounds like now. And uh, like I said, this microphone is about, well now it's almost about a foot and three quarters of the way away from me. But I'm gonna bring it closer to me. And as I bring it closer, you can hear how the intensity and quality changes. And now I'm bringing it to about just under a foot away from me. And you can see that the sound is already starting to clip. So we can go ahead and turn down the gain a little bit. And we can try to see if we can get it back to a reasonable amount. And uh, now I have it almost about five inches away from my mouth. And this is how it sounds like now. I want you also to pay attention to any popping sounds uh, so uh, I want you also to pay attention to see if there's any kind of popping noises I don't have a pop filter on here so I go ahead and want you to pay attention to that as well and last but not least I want to go ahead and do a test on this to see how it sounds like as I'm touching the unit um, is it picking up any um, noises and how does it do with the dampening and also too as I'm typing here how is it picking up that all right, so um, again, I want to go ahead and conclude this video basically by saying that I think this microphone should sound pretty good. I will give you my review at the end of this video as I review this audio file. 
Um, construction wise, uh, I feel like they are using quality uh, uh, materials here. Uh, it does have a good weight to it. It feels pretty solid. Um, the rubber feet on the bottom of this microphone uh, does a really good job at keeping the microphone stationary on the table so it doesn't slip. Um, also too, the fact that it comes with the USB cable um, and it comes already assembled. In other words, you don't have to put anything together. Everything is already here for you. All you have to do is pretty much just plug and play and you'll be ready to go. So with that said, um, maybe you guys can let me know on the bottom in the comments section, what do you guys think about the quality of this microphone? Do you like it? Do you think that this microphone sounds really good for its price point at $25 basically? And if you have any other microphones that you are currently using, if you are yourself uh, a podcaster or a vlogger, uh, let me know what kind of microphone you guys use and compare this uh, sound quality with the microphone that you're using and let us know in the bottom below. Uh, if you haven't already, like I said, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And with that being said, I hope you found this video to be very useful for you. And I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next video.